I was the first one in my family, uh, a family of nine children, having a twin sister. Um, I was the first one to um, get a college diploma. And um, again, I graduated from college when I was 16 years old. No, I went to college when I was 16 years old. Then I graduated from my bachelor's degree in, in two and a half years, three years almost. And then I came to New York to pursue my, gra my graduate studies. I finished my graduate studies when I was 22. I went back to Puerto Rico and then I became a, a college professor at the University of Puerto Rico when I was 22. And then at age 23, I became the youngest chair ever uh, to be chair of a, a, a department, the social science department. So um, I was flying. I wanted to not only uh, be able to uh, get a good um, education and, and job, but I knew that I wanted to be helpful to my family, and that's why I dedicated myself to uh, education. I knew then that my way out of poverty was by going to college, getting a college degree, and continuing pursuing my graduate studies. Um, my father always uh, instilled in me the value of education. So at an early age, I knew that if I wanted to get out to to break the cycle of poverty, the only way that uh, I could achieve that was by uh, taking seriously my studies and uh, doing well in school and going to college. Well, when I was working at the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, representing the governor of Puerto Rico in the United States, um, when he asked me to be uh, uh, the, the office, to, to be the head of the office, I told the governor that I only would do that if, he, if I was able to develop an agenda to help the Puerto Rican community help themselves. And uh, I strongly believe then, the same way that I strongly believe now, that political empowerment is key for Puerto Ricans across the country, especially in the mainland. So if Puerto Ricans can move from being just numbers to become a political force, then we will be able um, to affect the decision-making process at every level, from the city government to state government and to the federal government. So I, I got tired of uh, listening to people saying that Puerto Ricans, um, there were a lot of Puerto Ricans in New York, a million strong, but we were invisible. So I wanted to be able to provide the political tools for Puerto Ricans to make their presence felt in New York, and I believe that we did, and we will continue to do that. Uh, I want not only, I, I, I wanted to be proud, and I wanted to think that at Trevete, there too, there to register, there to vote, and get out and vote, um, that, it, that it had quite an impact, and that it will continue to have an impact, not only for me to become the first Puerto Rican woman, to sit in the United States House of Representatives, but to see in the near future the first Puerto Rican mayor of New York City. I think that will give such a pride, a sense of pride to our children, and that could be one of the best contributions that, that we can make to our Puerto Rican and Latino community in New York and across the country. Well, I want to see my victory to the United States House of Representatives as a victory to Puerto Rican women, to all those uh, first pioneers women who came to New York without speaking English, working in the factories so hard, sometimes being victims of uh, labor abuses. I want to say that, my, that they paved the way for me to be able to go to Congress. And my victory is their victory. And um, 
definitely it is not easy for any woman to get involved in politics. For the longest, Puerto Rican women or Latina women or women in general always been good to collect petitions and to help male candidates uh, qualify to be on the ballot or to get elected. And uh, what we needed to show is that women are not only good to do the political work in, in, in the field, but that we are good in making a difference when we are able to participate uh, in the political process. Well, we have a long way to go. Women and politics, believe me. Uh, in the recent past, not too far away, uh, women were always the one collecting petitions, helping to qualify men who were uh, who wanted to run for office. And uh, then we went from being the workers to be the candidates. And I believe that my election was a victory for women, especially for those women, those first pioneers who came to New York, who worked hard, who didn't know the language, who suffered, who were victims of labor abuses in the factories. My victory is their victory. They paved the way for me to be in the halls of Congress. I am uh, the only woman in the United States Congress, both houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate. I'm the only who is ranking of a full committee. In this case of the Small Business Committee, what does that mean? That means that I have a seat at the table, that when the President of the United States submits his budget proposal, I'll be sitting at the table with my male colleagues making decisions as, as it relates to the budget. So I want to believe that I am making a contribution that enable small businesses across the country, not only Puerto Ricans, not only Latinos, but all small businesses, that I am making a contribution in terms of providing the economic tools that will enable small businesses to grow and expand. We know that small businesses are the job creators in our economy. We know the role that they play in getting the economy back on track. So I am very proud of the contribution that I'm making to make sure that our economy grows stronger by uh, making decisions that affect small businesses. Especially in New York, Puerto Ricans were the ones responsible for today's number of different, for the numbers of different, uh, for the Hispanic media. You know, we have Univision, we have Telemundo, we have OI newspaper, we have, we have El Diario newspaper. How many are uh, uh, Latino radio stations? We, the most important contribution that Puerto Ricans made is the fact that we have a bilingual city, uh, that we paved the way for other immigrants to come after us, that we work hard to raise awareness about diversity and the importance of diversity for New York and for our, our nation. Uh, that we were the one who fought the battles to, uh, for the educational system in New York City to understand the important roles that bilingual education provides for our children and now for immigrants. So we were busy for many years, paving the way, working hard, challenging the status quo, uh, bringing, uh, demanding, uh, posi bringing positive change, not f only for Puerto Ricans, for, but for all Latinos. We made uh, New York City a city to embrace, to be welcoming, and we have shown that we have so much to give and so many contributions to continue to make uh, for the development of our nation. I want for every kid 
every kid in every classroom to always dream and dream big. I wanted for them to think that they could become the best doctor, the best lawyer, the best baker, the best whatever they choose. But to know that they should not use poverty as an excuse, that they are not alone, that we are here, that we will fight to make sure that every opportunity is there for them uh, to grow and to become whatever they want to be. Um, I want for these children to have faith in, them, in themselves, to be determined, to focus on what is it that they want to achieve, um, and let the sky be their limit.